Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 18 in this series entitled ASP.NET Ajax Control Toolkit. The Ajax Control Toolkit is a collection of more than 30 controls that can be used in ASP.NET. It has extenders that make standard ASP.NET web controls look and work better. To download it, we have to follow this link. Ajax Control Toolkit dot dot com. As of the date of this recording, the latest is January 2013 release, so just click the download button above it and start the download. Open it and extract to a permanent folder like Drive C. Ajax Control Toolkit. Okay. There it is. To integrate it in Visual Studio, let's create a website. Let's call it Activity 18. Let's create our default form. Add. In the toolbox, uh, right-click the space and add the tab. Let's call this tab uh, Ajax Control Toolkit. Right-click it. Select Choose Items. Then click Browse. And look for the directory where we extracted Ajax Control Toolkit there. And then choose Ajax Control Toolkit .dll. Then click OK. You have to wait until all the files have been loaded. Click OK. And your Ajax Control Toolkit is now available. Since we've already created our website and the default web form, we'll just continue it by adding a text box and an extender. We will start with adding a script manager, then the text box, then the HTML editor extender. We'll just delete the div and then go to Ajax extension for the script manager. And then in the standard toolbox for the text box, And after the text, oh, in the text box, we're going to change the columns, uh, columns to 80 and the rows to 10. And we'll set the text mode to multi line there. Now we can add the HTML editor extender from Ajax Control Toolkit there. Okay, so now we're going to add also here the target control ID, which is the text box one. And the enable sanitation We'll set it to false. Okay. Save it. I think we're done. So let's try to look at it in our browser. Okay, there. So now you have a text box that you can change the style. You can set the alignment as if you're using a regular Microsoft Word. One of the most popular controls in Ajax Control Toolkit is the Accordion Control. It's a container that can stack a number of panels that can be viewed one at a time. Inside the Paints tag is Accordion Paint Control that has two parts, the header and the content. 
For our next activity, we will create a CSS for header CSS class, header CSS selected class, and content CSS class. We will name and style them as we please. Then we will create a web form called Accordion Demo. Then apply the CSS that we just made and insert an accordion. We will create three panes, the calendar, the radio button list, and drop down list panes. We will introduce each with a text like, this is the first accordion pane with calendar, and then place the necessary controls. Before we continue with our activity, it is important to take note that whenever we create or whenever we use an Ajax control to control, the bin folder is automatically added to our website. This is the bin folder that was automatically added because we used the HTM editor extender. Okay, let's proceed with our activity and create our new web form called Accordion Demo. First thing is that we're going to create a CSS style, so we'll create a folder called Styles. And inside that folder, we'll create a style sheet. Okay, click OK. We'll create uh, three classes uh, here. Let's call the first one ACC header. This is for the header. Let's change the border to one pixel. We'll make it solid and the color is yellow. Then we'll set the color to white and the background color to dark blue. Okay, uh, let's put also some padding. Let's make it 10 pixels and let's set the margin top to 5 pixels. Okay, the next one is for the header CSS selected. So let's just call it header selected. Let's put also border. Let's make it 1px, solid, also yellow. And same thing. We'll set the color to white. And the background color will change this one. The background color will make it um, darker blue. Okay, it's still blue. Then we'll set also the padding to 10 pixels. And margin top to 5 pixels also okay and the last is the ACC content for the content CSS class we'll just make the background color um, still blue but should be light, uh, light blue lighter light blue and then the border let's make it also one pixels let's try dashed let's try dashed and the padding let's set it to 10 pixels okay save it and we're done with our style sheet okay we can now go back to accordion demo and let's apply our style sheet into the head I'll just delete this div. Then we can go to our script manager in Ajax extension. And then below it, we can already put the accordion from Ajax control toolkit. Uh, we'll just uh, specify here the styles that we did in our style sheet. Let's start with the header CSS class. Uh, it is the ACC header followed by the header selected class there is equal to ACC header selected and the last one is for the content CSS class which is equal to ACC content okay so we have set the formats for our three classes now we can insert the pins okay 
So inside the pins, we can put any number of accordion pins. If you remember, an accordion pin uh, consists of uh, two parts, the header and the calendar. So let's start with the header there. For our first accordion pin, uh, the, the header is calendar. And then the second part is the content. So let's just put here, this is the first accordion pane with calendar. Let's put some spaces by using break and another one. Okay, and then let's drag here our calendar. Okay, so that's one accordion pane. I'll just copy it for the second and the third. So this is the second accordion pane two. We'll put here a region button list. So this is the second accordion pane with region button list. And instead of this calendar, we will put a region button list. Okay, for our region button list, we'll just set uh, some items, maybe two items at list. ASP list item. Let's say the set is in um, Saudi Arabia, hope, hope. And let's add another one, AP, ASP list item. Uh, let's read. Okay, so done with the second now this is the third accordion pane this time we're going to use a drop down list so this is the third accordion pane with drop down list so we'll remove again this calendar and in its place we'll put a drop down list let's just copy this uh, two list items also Okay, okay, we're done. So let's look at it in the browser. Okay, so you can see here. Uh, this is the currently selected header, and this is the first accordion pin with calendar. Now these are the not yet selected uh, accordion pin. So if I select this one, radio button list. This is second accordion pin with radio button list, and the third one. This is the third accordion pin with drop down list of Riyadh. Well done. An autocomplete extender shows a list of suggestions as a user types in a control. Our last activity will use it. Uh, we will create another web form called autocomplete extender demo and we will add a text box in an autocomplete extender. Uh, the suggestion should appear after at least one letter has been typed and we will use the following string Abdullah, Ali, Ahmed, Abu, and Abdullah. So let's create a web form. Add a form auto complete extender demo. Let's just remove this dibs and put a script manager. After the script manager, we will put a text box. And under it, the auto complete extender. Okay, for our autocomplete extender, we will set our target control ID equal to text box when then the minimum prefix length should be at least one character. Okay, so we'll go to the design view and here let's click the text box and we'll choose autocomplete page method. Okay, so in this method, we will add a declaration of our array called, we'll call it names, is equal to uh, our names, Abdullah, Ali, Ahmed, Abu, and Abdulillah. Okay, and then 
in our return statement we will use this code from from our variable our ID where the ID starts with prefix text string comparison there to our current culture uh, better if we are going to ignore the case and then we'll close it and we will select the variable tick count that to re okay it's a long list of methods uh, but for now let's try to just simply run it and test it so if i type a it will suggest all the names if i type a and B, it will suggest Abdullah, Abdu, and Abdulella. If I type Ali, it will suggest only Ali. Okay, very good. So, congratulations. Uh, we've just finished discussing Aegis Control Toolkit in ASB.NET. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.